what we're seeing is new video tonight of protests at the University of Oklahoma over this issue. Go. The North Oval here, the site of a student protest march that began this morning following the release of those viral videos. With recent events such as police brutality in the SAE chant video, many blacks feel that activism is necessary in order to be heard. But there are some black students who decide to take the alternate route and not shake things up. R.J. Bowers, a senior student, believes there can be different forms of protesting that does not involve rallies. My type of protest uh, is done in, in the classroom. Uh, my, ac my academic work speaks for itself. I don't have to be out there on the front lines with a group of people to prove that I'm worthy of Anything. RJ believes his form of classroom protesting helps to decrease the amount of tension that could be felt through physical protests. It can cause unnecessary conflict uh, that could be avoided. And now it, now it brings a little bit more division and it creates this barrier. And now we have the, the, this, uh, this form of we only want to deal with the black students or we only want to deal with the white students when we should be working together as a group of people. Chelsea Davis was one of those students in the OU Unheard movement who was out front and center during the SAE video controversy. She agrees that taking a stance can cause tension, but that's the point. Than you, but that does not make them lesser than you. There's always going to be that stereotype, especially as being a black woman when you speak out, that you're angry and that you have all these outside emotions that are irrelevant, when in actuality, it's the complete opposite. I think that we have made targets on our backs just because we did choose to not only speak out against um, what was happening on Greek Grove, but speak out against university administration and really point the finger at OU to do better. So I think that um, most definitely people look at us differently, people talk about us differently, but at the end of the day, I know deep down in my heart that it's only for the better of the community and it's not So what happens when these differing views stop a black student from wanting to speak out? I most definitely question why any black student, black citizen, why you wouldn't speak out against social injustices. I think oftentimes in today's society, black people think that if they play a certain role underneath the majority, that it will exclude them from the minority, when in actuality, if you get pulled over, you're still seen as a black man and or a black woman. Is this way of thinking more harmful than helpful? It does create hostility and it creates this this feeling of us versus them and I don't I don't like the us versus them unless you know it's for sport. Contrary to a jersey that you will wear in sport, race is something that cannot be taken off. Like I said, when I walk into a room, you automatically know that I am a black woman. There is no question about it. So me saying, let's just ignore race because it creates a division, well, I can't because I can't turn it off, if that makes sense. I don't have that, that privilege, if you will, to just ignore my race because it's something that I have to carry with me every day. It's something that's going to affect me every day for the rest of my life.